What is going on IF Warriors? It's your boy Edward V and today we're going to talk about autophagy. What is it exactly? What does it do? What is the exact things that are happening in your body when autophagy is activated? And when exactly does this process start? That's what I'm going to break down in this video. Stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, there's a few misconceptions out there when it comes to autophagy. For example, some people pronounce it autophagy, other people pronounce it autophagy. And understand that the word autophagy is two words put together. It's auto and phagy. When separated, yes, phagy is pronounced phagy. But when put together, autophagy has a better flow to it. Let's just all agree on that. But regardless, it's derived from the Greek language, auto meaning self phagy meaning eaten so self-eating now for many many years doctors and scientists knew of autophagy but didn't understand if it was selective if they can control it or how to activate it or how to reactivate it or anything like that so there are a lot of people out there that feel that this is pseudoscience or fake science i can assure you that autophagy is very, very real and has been tested and seen in science. This isn't something that people that do intermittent fasting or people who do prolonged fasting is just trying to throw out there to pretend like there's an additional benefit to fasting over the awesome fat loss. This is a very real process that happens in your body when you are fasting. Now, another misconception is that it takes multiple days for you to get into autophagy. That is not true. Once you start getting into a fasted state, you start multiple processes of autophagy. The longer you stay in your fasted state, the more more autophagy is happening in your body. For the longest time, scientists and doctors did not know how to control this or how to reactivate this. All the way up until the year 2016. That is when Dr. Yoshinori Osumi of Japan was able to publish his findings on autophagy. He was able to break down autophagy and explain exactly the processes that are happening when someone goes into autophagy. First of all, he determined that autophagy is found in every multicellular organism. That means every insect, every frog, fish, any organism that has multi cells, multiple cells, goes into the process of autophagy. He started his findings using yeast. He saw the autophagy process happening in yeast and then he moved from there to humans. Autophagy starts to kind of kick in around the 12 to 18 hour time frame. And of course, the longer you fast, the more benefits you will get from the autophagy. Now, what is it exactly doing? It's replenishing the cells that are damaged, blah, 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 blah. But what is it doing exactly? When your body senses a lack of nutrients, it somehow sends your cells into a reactive state where it goes out not only looking for damaged cells, but looking for damaged protein, uh, damaged amino acid, badly folded, amino acids. So what it can do is it can actually take amino acids that aren't really put in your body well, that aren't structured well, bring it through like a filtering system and then restructure it and make it better. Make your amino acids that are already in your body better without throwing it away, without throwing your protein away. A lot of people think that when you fast, you actually lose muscle, but in reality, when you fast, you build upon the muscles that you have. Now, if you do have an excess amount of protein or just things that are super damaged in your body that are beyond repair, your cells intelligently move all of that stuff to your kidneys, where it will filter everything, and then where it will eventually get pushed out of your body. Now, there are multiple processes of autophagy that your body can go through. There's micro autophagy. This is when you're your cells are directly grabbing on and moving the components into the lysosomal membrane. Then there's macro autophagy in which the cells don't directly move everything up into the lysosomal membrane, but instead move it into a kind of chamber that delivers it directly, which is called the autophagosomes. There's the chaperone mediated autophagy, which is where all these processes are happening. There are multiple cells that are attached to the process in the event that anything goes wrong, those cells 
can be then. It's very diverse and very deep. It isn't just a cell cleaning up another cell and then going back to its position. It's your cells literally with a mind of its own doing things to protect you. Now, the reason autophagy gets activated is because you aren't eating, because our bodies have been built to withstand not eating. Our bodies internally start to move itself into position to protect and use nutrients that are within us already. From the findings of Dr. Osumi, it was determined that the body is constantly using protein. The body's constantly breaking down protein, utilizing protein. So what autophagy does is it enhances that by cleaning up the protein and making it better and throwing away any excess protein to ensure that there isn't too much protein in our bodies. Now, the implications of this is that it could actually protect you from a lot of things or it can actually assist you in protecting you from a lot of things. A lot of growth for your cells is actually bad. You want to mitigate that. You want to keep that at a very healthy level. Let me explain what growth can do to you. Growth can actually increase Alzheimer's, for example. Alzheimer's is the accumulation of so much bad protein that wasn't corrected, that wasn't fixed, that wasn't pushed out, that wasn't flushed out or 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 filtered out of your body. That's how you can get Alzheimer's disease. That's just from years of years of that accumulated protein that wasn't pushed out of your body. Cancer is the accumulation of all these different cells and with one bad cell continuing to regenerate, accumulating, and then before you know it, you can have cancer. So allowing your body to do this pause, this cleaning and then redistribution of the items that we have of the bad cells of the bad proteins that are in our bodies is extremely beneficial. And they realize that to activate this, you have to fast. It has to be a restriction of food. It has to be a restriction of calories, a restriction of nutrients for a short period of time, of course, to allow your body to go through this process. So I assure you, anyone out there who tells you oh, all this cell regeneration stuff, that doesn't happen. That's not a thing. I assure you, it is a thing. As evidence from Yoshinori Osumi winning the Nobel Prize for his findings back in 2016, being recognized by his peers as bringing something that is life changing in a positive way into the scientific and medical industry. As you know, this is a channel that loves to tackle all aspects of intermittent fasting, and I wanted to break down autophagy to actually let you guys know what's happening, when it starts, and what's going on in your body with autophagy. I know a lot of you know that it's a cell regeneration kind of fixing thing, but I wanted you to know exactly what sparked it and what it is what it actually is doing. So hopefully it was very educational for you guys and you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, I wanna thank my patrons from my Patreon and I'm gonna put their names right up here.